Okay, uh, let me just update the score screen real quick. Already two points for Showtime. Very nicely done by him. Okay, spawning in the 10 o'clock position as our red Protoss player. Already taking two points for his team. It is Showtime. And spawning in the upper right hand corner, it is my insanity's Dax Ray. It is just awesome to say that, right? I know. I never thought I'd be able to cast Zach Tree playing. This is just, yeah. <laughs> I'm a bit of a fanboy, I'm not going to lie. But who isn't, right? The guy's a beast. Yeah, well, f for me, it, it, like, I have not been uh, always in the scene as much as uh, as I'm now. He did ca come kind of out of nowhere when he just came to, uh, to Europe. Uh, but yeah. yeah, I've casted him before. He's such a nice guy as well. That's uh, that really so sometimes surprises me about about those players because you do meet uh, sometimes you do meet be, uh, people that really don't do not care that. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Like it, you know, I've met quite a few really good players, and they just like you know you get the sort of players that are like yeah, I'm so good, nobody's on my level, so I'm gonna like basically talk to people like rubbish because I think I can. <laughs> exactly because you can't get you away know? with it, but exactly, no, but, but like. Saxtree yeah. is such a, he is he, he was so incredibly friendly it's uh most well most Koreans actually are like uh I was casting what was I casting again? and I believe I go for Starcraft 2 cup and I uh, solar was playing in it and well everybody knows solar but he was just tearing up everyone I don't think that he dropped a single game in that entire tournament and wow he was so incredibly nice even was so was friendly enough to just say hi 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 how are you and blah 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 so that was uh, Koreans are so nice. Yeah, I think Koreans in general are just like really nice people. They just they they understand how how good it is to just basically respect their opponents and just respect people in general. You know, like uh, there's quite a few. Unfortunately, there's quite a few foreigners that don't really reciprocate that. But yeah. um, Saxry is you know definitely a nice guy. Okay, but as we said before this game, Saxry is in a hurry. That's why he went for a 14-14 build, and he is getting those Zerglings across the map. Zerglings Bead. speed on the map, and we did not talk about this at all because we were just admiring him a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry for that. I was just that, looking but... at Saktri. <laughs> oh, I was just looking map, at the name. Yeah, Showtime is getting his natural base. Did not scout at all, and he's going to be very sad. Oh, he's, he's going to get be... the probe. Yeah. Well, the probe, but the probe sees this. it. He sees six Zerglings. That should already tell the tale pretty much at this point. But speed is three quarters of the way done. There is a zealot here, though, but I don't think really think that the zealot is going to cut it against the oh, amount man. of surgeons that is being made. Mother's Core is going to do a lot more good, though, and Saxory at this point really kind of needs to get some damage done. Getting a cancel on that national base, which of course uh, one of the best things that you can get. That Mother's Core just doing so much damage too. Saxtry is also really committing to this. He is uh, producing eight more Zerglings. Speed is now going to finish up. Oh, man. Big work is killed at the moment, and that pylon is most certainly going to go down as well. So that's going to supply block go uh, time. Yeah, but look at the amount of HP that is already on that natural next. You're going to need a lot of uh, a lot of Zerglings to actually DPS that down. But the natural base is at least going to come up. The Mazzy Core is a little bit torn. Am I going to defend my workers or am I going to defend my Nexus? He has to make a choice. He cannot really do both. But the Zealots inside the middle line are going to make it pretty difficult for uh, Saxory to really get the economic damage done. Oh, I would have. Nice micro from Showtime, though. Good fielding placement as well. He's doing a pretty good job. Okay, both an overcharge means that Saxory has to get out of there. And he is now going to be able to work on that natural Nexus. And with this amount of Zerglings, he will get it down pretty quickly. Yeah, there's oh. not enough zealots to really deal with this many lings right here. He's going to be able to trade for the zealots, that's for sure. Not in this position, indeed. Those ze zealots definitely did a lot of damage, but there's still so many zealots left. My god. Well, when you said he was in a hurry, I think this confirms it. <laughs> yes, indeed. He does not want to waste his time. <laughs> Just wants to get more ladder games going. But the natural base is still up. Oh, look at all the pros being pulled right now with three more zealots. If that Nexus does not go down, Saxtry is going to be in a in a horrible position. Mm. And he really needs to get that economic damage going. Showtime currently is up 8 workers, well now 7 workers. But with the double Nexus already done and the third base not even being started for Saxtry, it will get pretty tricky. 
Thatcher's done really, like, not a whole lot. I mean, he's not killed the natural. No, it's and still up. Showtime, yeah, and the sh Showtime's going to hold this. This is an incredible hold from Showtime. Very impressive to see that from him, yes. That Nexus, even with uh, even with almost 500 hit points left, I'd love to see a lot of Chrono Boost on that Nexus, because, of course, Chrono Boost will regenerate those shields a little bit faster than they normally do. Still, I have no idea why that is, but it is. It is the case. And now even is actually getting pretty supply blocked. That's uh, always... Look at Showtime's um, concave that is uh, natural. I love yeah. that. It's a unit That's wall it. off. Like, seriously. <laughs> it's like a big standoff right now. It reminds me of that movie Braveheart. Everyone's seen Braveheart, right? Yeah, of course. This is, this is what it reminds me of. Yeah, they just missed awesome. the spares and... Uh, and there should be like little people riding the zerglings, but <laughs> <laughs> then it would be uh, then it would be complete. <laughs> exactly. Oh, it looks like he's going to move out here. Yeah. Get aggressive. Well, Showtime really does not want Saxry to get back into this game, and if you give Saxry a little bit too much time, he's going to drone up pretty quickly behind this. There's no third base though, and he's going to be able to like like you say like the wall off for the natural is going to be able to be defended. He has a sentry, he has a zealot. And while this is all going on, he's going to be able to push that natural and force Saxry to make more units. He's also made two spine corridors. He's also got three queens out. Saxry's in a really bad position right here. I don't yeah. know if he'll be able to hold this cost efficiently. I'm fearing for his life. Showtime has confirmed that there is no third base oh here. Oh my god. Which means that he really... More gateways. He does not even really need to do damage at this point. He can just uh, macro up back at home. He's still six workers up. Looking at the resource lost that, we do see that Sakura even lost more resources. And in this position, uh, Shotan just has had a great hold, great defense, not overstepping his boundaries. The Roach Warren is down. I, I, I think this is going to be a two-base all-in from, uh, from Sakura. I can't see this really playing out into the late game for him because he's just too far behind right now. Exactly, but the second Immortal is already on the way. There's a sentry still going oh, to man. hold this wall. And the army of Showtime still on the other side of the map. Once they those armies get together, they're going to have a very bit, a very nice tea party for sure. Oh, they are, oh, this is this can get ugly very quickly with those Zerglings being in that position. That's oh my god! He just oh. recall. It's pretty good, I hear. But yeah, Back still no third one. base. We're at the 11 minute mark. The third base cannot even be started at this point. Showtime has a very nice supply lead, and that's the moment. If the Protoss is in a supply lead at the 11 minute mark, it is He's not also going to be in an upgrade lead as well. He's got four. There's no Evo base here for Sack 3. Um, this has blown my mind because I did not expect this to be so comfortable really for Showtime. Showtime's making this look really easy against one of the best Zergs in the world right now. Exactly. That's, uh, that's, that's kind of the scary part, right? The power of Protoss. Yeah. <laughs> the power, power of showtime. <laughs> in in this case, yes. But road speed is going to be on the way. That's going to help him out a little bit. But look at the amount of sentries. Look at the oh, amount of immortals. Sick. This is going to be a sentry immortal all in in the end. And I really yeah. don't think that Saxtry either has the economy or the production to hold this off. So this yeah, is I gonna think Saxtry just knows. Yeah, I think Saxtry just knows this game is just not going to end well for him. There's too many Immortals. Look at the amount of sentries. He'll be able to force build these Lings and Roaches off all day long. Look at the amount long. of Foden Cannons going to go down. Oh, uh, Is he even going to bother with full walling that off? I he doesn't I even need to expand. He just needs to A-move across the map right now. This is, this is going to be yeah. a really easy attack. Yeah, It's obviously going to have, have force builds with it. But, I mean, as long as they're half decent ish yeah. i think he's okay i really like the fact though that saxfree is uh, really positioning his zerglings and his roaches in a position where they, he can go for mm. a counter-attack from any which way and and the counter-attack is pretty much the only thing that can keep him alive a few of, or two of the uh, photon cannons did get cancelled uh, at the natural base and those roaches they do not really die fast to uh, to cannons oh but look he's at that go in the he's, not even, he's not even gonna go for the, uh, for, for oh. the kill he's just gonna go for a third <laughs> recall oh, being recall. used. He needs oh, to go back. Those oh force field. This army oh, is Oh my sacked. god. And another force field oh. on the ramp. Are we going to see it? No, the sentry's a little bit too slow. Robotics. There's no be... third base here for Sack 3, so I mean this army is uh do or die right here. Yeah, that's uh he what does he have it? well he has a bunch of roaches back at home still, but 
He needs a miracle, and those miracles, yeah. he, he believes that the miracle is going to be Swarmos. I mean, without upgrades, I mean, already we're seeing plus one attack here for Showtime, and plus one armor as well is also on the way. Uh, this is just not going to end well for Saxtree, I'm afraid. Well, Good Saxtree's positioning on the Roaches. But... Yeah, Saxtree going to get a cancel on that third base if he goes for it. Yeah, that's, that'd be that's, nice. That's a jackpot for him, for him here right now. The first Colossi. Oh, it's going to go down so out. quick as well. Yeah, let's get cancelled. It would have been even better if he would have arrived a little bit later so he could get the kill Later, yeah. I was going to make that point, actually, because I, I think right at this point in time, having Showtime cancel a base isn't a big loss in the, in the circumstances. But if he had just killed the base straight off without any cancel going down, I think that would... It wouldn't get Saktri back into the game, but... It would well, be the start of a comeback. Saxtree is going to go turtle mode, full turtle mode. Look at the amount of spawn oh cross on the map. Swarm host is going to be on the way. He's got, he's got Spines six have got to move. Yeah, and it's, well, the creep spread Spines is not, got to move right there. Yeah, the creep spread is not really there to really support this, uh, this swarm host play. And also the locusts, they were spawned before that and during locusts finished up, which means that they're going to time out in no time. And well, Shota can just retreat another attempted run by the natural base. To be fair, it's actually doing an incredible job to even stay in this game at this point. I mean, he, he's actually near enough level on supply. It's just a case of getting his economy somehow going and his upgrades going, which in the circumstances I don't think is uh, something that Saxtree really wants to get into. But he cannot engage this army right now. He has to try and do something out of the ordinary, which is what he's trying to do here with his roaches. Yeah, those roaches are a very cheap solution to the problem that he has. He's getting, uh, well, he, at least he's getting a few units for his efforts, but the army of Shotans is going to chase him down. Oh my and god. Look at how quickly those supplies are shifting. Two supply for a roach? That's a lot of roaches that died just there. Yeah, and for what damage? I mean, it wasn't really as if he could get a lot done there, but he has, like like I say, he has to do something, he can't just sit back at this point, Colossus are on the way, upgrades are on the way, he needs to try and keep Showtime back, and get time for himself to expand and basically try and somehow muster up a late game, uh, because right now he's not going to be able to develop an army even close to be able to kill, to kill this basically. Exactly. I mean look at the supplies. Yeah, and the, the weird thing is that actually Saxtree is not that far behind in the resources lost tab, so he's been trading fairly, fair, fairly nice, but he has just not mined as much as Showtime has at this point. Mm. And he's going to go into that third base, he's going to kill it off, the monster core has full energy, so he can even go for a recall if he gets into an empty position. Force fields are perfect for, oh, those force fields are disgusting. And there's the GG, Showtime does it. My god.